have we talked before? We you have. I actually yeah. did the first Avatar junket here in London. Okay, that so long. that was kind of epic. Well, this was worth the wait. Okay, good. <laughs> this good, is, good. This is incredible. And I'm a diver, so everything... So I mean, you, know, I, you know what we're talking about here, right? I, the wonder. Now, a lot of it is, is written very small. Oh, if you look very closely, you see the amazing things. So we just make them bigger in the movie. So I work with Harkins Theaters also, which is the largest family-owned theater chain in the U.S. We're based mm -hmm. in Arizona, okay, but in four good, states. Good. I'm going to start out with a really basic question, because you're all about the feeling that a moviegoer gets and yes, the experience. exactly. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, yeah. I'm over my jet lag. Been here for a couple of days, you know, promoting the film. Yeah. And we're getting good feedback. Um, and I and I like it that people are picking up on the things that we we were throwing down, you know, about about the family and the father and son and the, you know, wow. the conflicts and the bonds and all that stuff, and not getting too preoccupied with the with the technology and the animation and all that all that part of it. This is all about reminding people what that big screen experience can be, right? And, and we set ourselves that challenge. It's really an unparalleled experience that you can't have in the home. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. Congratulations on this. Thank Since you. I talked to you last, you each have three kids. Each. Yeah. <laughs> three boys, no yeah. less. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which I would imagine completely influenced um, your thoughts and maybe feelings as you were making this? Oh, I mean, we took so much inspiration of our own lives to, to contribute to, to their story. Jake and, and Natiri almost felt very parallel to, to Sam and I because we were having endless conversations about it. Like how we found ourselves like so deeply in love with our family, like our, our new and growing family respectively. It's just like Jake and Natiri, the thought of any threat yeah. um, coming in uh, to take away something that is just bigger than you is just unimaginable. And Jim really challenges them. But but he, he's presenting all these relatable scenarios that either we are seeing that's happening in the world or we have experienced through history. And, um, and he's putting this family uh, that sticks together at the center of it all. Um, and I find that that's what's most compelling about this movie. Yeah, three boys, <laughs> it's a war <laughs> going on in my house. Yeah, um, a lot. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, any parent's going to tell you an instinct of you know, protection is it just, just pops, just comes yeah. straight away. So in the, in the movie, it's about protecting what you love. I dive. I've never done the free diving thing, and I know you hold the record apparently, and everyone says you beat Tom Cruise's record. I'm curious, have you heard from Tom Cruise yet? No. <laughs> No. He's a competitive guy. When he knows you beat the record, I feel like he'd pick up the phone. I know. That would be good, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I was blown away when someone told me that I had beaten Tom's record. I wasn't planning on doing that. I just wanted to hold my breath for as long as I could. When I learned how to do it, my husband also learned alongside me. He couldn't hold his breath for as long as I could. <laughs> but we had to do that so that if ever I needed to practice, I, I had someone right there. <coughs> so... The whole experience was just amazing. I loved it. Very meditative. I'm not very good at kind of quietening my mind, so I think it was probably quite good for me. Every living thing that crawls, flies, or squats in the mud wants to kill you and eat your eyes for jujubes. I have to admit, I, I did the first Avatar junket, and I remember when I heard they were doing another, I thought, I don't know if it's possible, but it would be so cool if Stephen Lang was back, and you're back in a big way. How they were heard you. <laughs> To, I mean, yeah. Jim Cameron heard oh, you. Of course. It's the energy. It's all about the energy that you put out into the universe. You know, in the first one, though, and I remember, and, and you looked fantastic. You were so jacked and so ripped, but you're mm -hmm. playing kind of a different version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Did you think, oh, I can kind of let myself go a little bit. I don't have to be as ripped. <laughs> <laughs> or no 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 it had no no I needed to be look I didn't need to be as big yeah that's what it was and I was I'm probably 40 pounds heavier in that than I am now but that was hard to sustain but this time of course playing Quaritch the recombinant uh, and and a Navi to boot I know that my whatever I am is going to be shaped and contoured by a team of you know artists <laughs> We are thrilled for Harkins Theatre's moviegoers to see this, and I don't know if they are ready. Do you think they are ready? Look, I think uh, Harkins Theatre moviegoers are ready for anything, and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, I think it's so great that uh, you know, it, it's this family-based movie chain that, that is really 
reaching America, and that's, yeah. that's really important. I know that James has always talked about it's about giving people a feeling when they leave, an experience versus it's not all about the technology, it's about what they feel. What was the predominant feeling you had after you saw the whole thing in its entirety? Well, I think the first time I really got to see the movie was just recently with the cast in New York, where I got to screen it for Sam, Zoe, Sigourney, and Stephen Lang. Uh, we've been working on it, and I've seen the whole movie completed, but never in 3D, never with the finished mix. And my feeling was that it's a movie that delivers on the promise that we make, mm -hmm. which is that we're going to give you something that you can walk away from the theater with. Not a plot you leave at the theater, but feelings and emotions and, and, and a sense of having been there that you walk away from the theater. And that was the universal feeling with all the cast. And it was just this, to be there with them when they saw it for the first time. I had seen other cuts of it. This was their first time seeing any cut of it. And it was very rewarding. Stop.